While the ailing economy is wreaking havoc on the auto industry, in addition to plant closings and layoffs, an estimated 900 new car dealers have gone out of business in the last year. So it is quite unusual to find a small town Chevy dealer that is beating the odds. Like many of America's small towns, Little Falls, New Jersey has a main street where you'll find a collection of businesses catering to the local community. It's where Schumacher Chevrolet has stood for more than 76 years. Thank you for calling Schumacher Chevrolet. How can I help you? It's not exactly giant. Gigantic. No, it's not. Right. That's not necessary. Is this a little car dealership or medium Well, it's size? bigger than the, than the biggest right now because I'm outselling highway dealerships. In fact, Schumacher Chevrolet is outselling most of General Motors. While sales at GM are down considerably, Schumacher is up an astonishing 119 percent. How is that? I don't know. Do you really not know? I don't know. I think that, well, I mean, I know that we treat people fairly. We have a very high referral list of customers, mm. second and third generation. Anyone who ever drove a Chevy came here in this area. Judy Schumacher Tilton's father first built this dealership with a borrowed $500 back in 1933. Today, no money is owed on the six acre property, which keeps overhead low. But Schumacher Tilton says their success is really about old-fashioned customer service. We have relationships with our customers. I care about them when they drive away in their vehicle. Why do you think this place is surviving when if you probably go in five miles in any direction, you can find any number of dealerships that have laid people off or where they're in trouble? Why do you think this place? Because the expectations they set in the front end of the sale, they've delivered in the back end, and they'll get the repeat business. Ronnie, line one, please. To boost sales, a great many hours are invested working the phones and the web. But Schumacher Chevrolet also invests a great deal in the local community. Come on, Sonny! They sponsor the Little Falls Youth Football League, dedicated a park in town, and for a half century have provided the driver's education vehicles to the high school up the street. If Congress called you and said, we want you to run General Motors since you're doing such a good job over here in New Jersey, what would you tell them? Why should GM be kept alive? Because the domestic automotive industry is the foundation of this country. Most of America's car dealerships have not been as successful as Schumacher Chevrolet. And by year's end, nearly 5% of the nation's new car lots could be closed. What would happen to your business? if in two months you woke up and General Motors said, we're done, we can't do this anymore. I'd figure it out, just like my father did. He made flamethrowers for the U.S. Army out of this dealership for World War II. Mm -hmm. There were no cars being sold for years. He figured it out. And you'll figure it out. And I'll figure it out. Other car dealers will soon need to figure it out as well. GM uh, CEO Rick Wagner says he will likely cut 1,700 of the company's 6,400 dealerships over the next several years.